Welcome to Higher Energy, a podcast created by the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology. I'm your host, Paula Shaw, here with my co-host, Executive Director, Bob Schwartz. Hey, Bob. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. See you, too. Interesting times we're living in, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> Happy New Year. We haven't done this since New Year, so Happy New Year. Oh, that's Happy right. New Happy New Year, everybody. It's a new year. Happy New Year to every new year, new administration, new things going on. Yahoo. <laughs> and we have with us today on this show one of our own. In fact, she's a founding member of the Association of Comprehensive Energy Psychology, along with me. And her name is Mary Sice. So, Bob, should we just get right into it? Shall I tell them a little more about Mary and we'll sure. bring her on? Yep. Okay, let me put on my eyes here. So she, for over two decades, has been a leading voice in advancing the field of energy psychology. She is trained as a licensed clinical social worker, but she integrates energy psychology methods into her practice. She is a past president of the Association of Comprehensive Energy Psychology, and she presents at conferences and develops trainings and coursework all the time. When the pandemic began, she got very interested in trying to help people that were dealing with a lot of panic and created a book called Tapping the Panic Out of the Pandemic. And we're going to be asking her a lot more about that because that sounds very interesting. And she is also the author of The Energy of Belief or co-author of The Energy of Belief. So I think that's enough. Let's bring this woman on and let's find out everything she knows. <laughs> hey, okay, Mary. Let's go for it. <laughs> and you know what, what I that. forgot to say that I do want to add? Mary is really one of my dearest friends and conference roommate always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we can begin the show. <laughs> so Mary, great to be Bob here. and I were just saying, you know, it's crazy times right now. There's a lot going on that has never happened before mm -hmm. in any of our lifetimes. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and we have tools that are very interesting in dealing with these kinds of things. So I'm kind of curious, what's your take on where we are now and maybe how we should show up or what we should all be doing? Well, my experience, Paula, and, and maybe some of our listeners can relate to it, is something's calling us bigger right now. Like mm -hmm. uh, the word I love to use, like, I, like I'm being called to level it up. Like what, it, well, there's something else for me and we know this time, even though it's pretty chaotic and like what's going on on the planet, we're all kind of freaking out a little bit. This time was predicted. This is a time of great upheaval, similar to a uh, transition before birth. Okay. So, you know, that time when you want to like jump out of your bed and run around the nurse's station, you know, like something's wrong. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Like, you know, and for me, each one of us is called to be that nurse in the middle of the station that says, nothing's wrong, go back to bed and breathe and tap, okay? Like that, that's kind of um, our role. There's a, there's a funny saying that kind of captures it for me. There's three types of people in the world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened, okay? So for me, ASAP people are people who make things happen. Mm -hmm. We don't watch, we don't stand by the side. We're like rolling up our sleeves, jumping in there. And, and, and making it happen. And the worst person kind of space to be in is when you're wondering what's happening. Absolutely. So for people to understand that this time was predicted, that mother earth is shifting, that there's so much power and light coming on the planet that even our energy psychology methods can level up and that we can heal and serve, I guess more the word would be serve in a much bigger capacity right now. Mm -hmm. if we get in alignment with it, if we flip into the fear of it, <laughs> we'll make a bigger mess. That's not a good idea. So it's really about um, using the tools that we have to quiet down our nervous systems, to open up our um, intuition, you could call it your alignment 
with these higher realms of light that are coming down now and to be of service in a, in a, in a bigger way. And I don't know about you. That's what I feel I'm being called to do. Mm -hmm. How about so you? Did you write the tapping the panic out of the pandemic because you felt like panic was the overall, <clears throat> excuse me, response people were having when it all began? Yes. Well, because what we know in our in energy psychology is we know the way the nervous system works now. We know polyvagal theory. We know about the limbic brain. And we know that what we have has the potential uh, to reset that brain. It has it calms down the polyvagal. That's what I love about what ASAP does and gets the research and the scientists to help us to understand. Yeah. You know, like in the beginning, Paula, you and I, we had no idea what we were doing. We just knew it worked, right? So we just exactly. kept going in. We don't care. Totally. But now we have the science behind us to show yeah. what happens when you get triggered and how you can flip out. The, panic, the pandemic is loaded with everybody's triggers. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough money. I don't have, I'm going to starve. I don't have food. I have to stay. I'm, I, I'm all alone. Fear right. of death. I mean, pick your pick your fear. The it's all that, loaded. The thing that's gonna get you is invisible. What'd you say, what? The thing that's gonna get you is invisible. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, like the boogeyman. Exactly. Yeah. It's under your bed. Like I mean, you and you can't. You know, like this. And 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 are we gonna have food? Are we gonna have it? It had everything in it, mm -hmm. and there was no. It was it. It was so universal. And I was watching people yelling at their kids, exploding this agitation. You know, like if you were a kid and your father lost his job, that was programmed in you. You know, like just all this coming out, yelling at your kids, yelling. And I thought, how can we have these tools that we have and not get them out? It's, it just felt so wrong. That's why I wrote it. I wrote it. It's, it's an easy read. It explains things. And it helps people to see so, there's nothing wrong with you. It's your, you're triggered. Well, just so that, if people want to, they want to wait to the end of the show. So this is something that's available on Amazon. Yes, right? it's called "Tapping the Panic Out of Pandemic," and all the proceeds from it uh, go to ASAP. So just get it's it's only like four dollars. It's it's an easy download. Download the thing. It's only a Kindle book, and right. share it with your clients. Share it. Give it away. You know, donate to ASAP or whatever. Yeah. You know, that's why I did it. So, then the other thing I did, which. Yeah. Uh, is I created this program called Tapping Tuesdays at Two, okay? And I, and I just put it out. Within a month, there's like 500 people on this thing all over the world, South America, Europe, they're for the French speaker, they got translation on it. And what we, what we do is I just take them through the basic, not the nine gamut, like we all know the, the full thing, but just the basic algorithm. And I pick one or two people who represent the group this has blown my mind. Mary, it, yeah. let me stop you for a minute because some of the people listening to this may not have any idea what the okay. basic algorithm is. Mm -hmm. Can you describe those points and what sure. that is? So, so obviously you can do the side of your hand with an accepting affirmation. Like even though I have this problem, I accept myself, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you do eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, nose, lip, collarbone, under the arm, and then all your fingers together at the top of the head. And this was something I didn't usually use. Usually I would use the, the eye movements, but because it was a big group like this, I did it. I know when you use eye movements, it, it, you're more likely to trigger something. Mm. And I didn't want to trigger the people. I just wanted to take everything down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe they couldn't get it to zero, but I didn't care. At least they had a tool that they could quiet their, their brain down with. That's why I only did do it with that. And, you know, just because there may be newbies listening to mm -hmm. this, very likely, when you uh, describe those points, we tap those points maybe four or five times, maybe seven times, and then you move to the next point, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. And when you said nose and mouth, we're talking under the nose and under the lip. Mm -hmm. Just because yeah. those who are listening might be tapping on their nose exactly. <laughs> and their lips, and that yeah. won't work the same way. We're yeah. tapping acupoints. Exactly. That's what we're tapping. Okay. So if yeah. somebody's watching this on, uh, listening to it on an iPod, they could come to ASEP's YouTube channel. Go to YouTube. Yeah. Type in ASEP. It'll be a video, so you can see that you know the, what the tapping mm -hmm. is. So, you know, right. you get your eye, you get your eyebrow, you get your right. outside of the eye, you got your right. under the eye. Or even just come on Tapping Tuesdays with me. 
Yo. It's a great way to watch it, mm -hmm. watch it get done, watch me work with something. And what is shocking to me is all the people on that particular show have the same issue. It, it's shocking. So like, and I've never had that experience before. I would do work one-on-one -on -one with someone all the time mm -hmm. for 20 years using tapping. But what I saw was, holy smokes, I can impact, I can serve 50 people in an hour and yeah. everybody and it's fun. And I just, I was only going to do it in the beginning. And now it's almost a year that I've been doing it. Wow. And every Tuesday at two o'clock. So and Eastern, it's free. Eastern time. And it's, it's free. free. Right, Mary? So I, I was having so much fun, I just couldn't stop. And the healings were phenomenal. How does somebody get on? How do they find the just link? Just go to my website, marysice.com, -E and just sign up. It's free. And no commitments. You want to get off, get off next week. But mm -hmm. it, it's just everything's free. And if you're a practitioner, what you'll see, you'll be able to watch somebody work with 20 years experience, work with people and see how powerful energy psychology is. Mm, I it's, love it. it's, it's really, it's really fun. I'm really having fun doing it. So you mentioned that everybody on the call has the same issue. Now that's not by design. You're saying it just seems to happen that way, correct? Exactly. Like somebody, they won't some come. Of the issues that you're seeing are universal. So somebody, so somebody comes on and they're really angry because um, their boss doesn't um, doesn't see them, okay, or their mother-in-law, whoever, you know. Mm -hmm. And then my job, obviously, when you work on a group, there's some tricks to it. So now I have to like make it to everybody who's got this, and then I just work with the one person. Mm -hmm. And and then at the, and then sometimes the person gets stuck, like they won't take their anger down to a zero. And so then I'll ask the group, okay, who wants to help her out on what's what's powerful about keeping your anger? Oh, you don't have to take responsibility or whatever. People chime in, write things, mm -hmm. and then um, so it's real. We really have fun. And then at the end, anybody who got a healing with that puts thumbs up or a heart or something, and you oh. see like everybody responds. Do you have and and you also set the intention that it's a grid that we're a vortex of light serving each other and they either tap for that person or they use their own words or it's shocking it's just blows my mind so you know what's interesting i'm listening to you talk and <clears throat> at, at the um at the inauguration they, they, they a country song came on which and i'm not really a country song person totally well i feel like i am now it was just this great song uh, by Tug McGraw and uh, I forget the guy's guy, Tyler, called Undivided. And it was all about how we're un not divided. So here it is. It's like everybody, again, it's sort of like this interesting time yes. where it's called, required. Uh, you, I guess you could be divided. That's one way to go. Right. Or you could find a way to come together. And, and in this case, people, when you, when people come, and they choose to do this, they are um, signing up for working together with other people. Mm -hmm. It's symbolic, it's energetic, you're, mm -hmm. you're helping out the whole uh, plan. I'm getting kind of pumped, I'm just getting psyched up. Just it's so much fun. It, you know, uh, because, you know, here we are, you know, it was funny, you know, I, I know, you know, I know where you are, I'm, I'm here in World Headquarters, up on my third floor, looking out my window at the snowstorm. But it's so easy to get isolated in your own little space. Mm -hmm. And you think, I'm isolated. Mm -hmm. yep. But maybe you're not. Yep. And, and, you know, and, and this isn't uh, what you're doing. And I, I suppose other people can do it too. But um, uh, here's a way to connect with people. Yeah. And for, for, for the greater good of all. Exactly. And, and people bring their friends so it just grows. Yeah. I, and my goal is to get thousands doing it at the same time. Can you imagine? Oh. And, and what I see, well, the other thing I see is that um, the healings, like two rounds, three rounds, done. And I, it's just like, it's, 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 just, it's just so beyond my original paradigm. I have to work one-on-one -on -one and we have to, you know, forget about it, you know? It, it leveled it up. It, and in this time when so many people are hurting, I don't know if we have the luxury of doing one-on-one -on -one anymore. Mm -hmm. like it's, and, and the shame that gets transmuted by people realizing, oh my God, I have the same, 
that's me in another body. You know, somebody goes and they say your stuff. You know, like, yes. it's just like, wait a minute, that's my story. I just have different characters mm -hmm. in it. But it's the, the, the oneness, exactly what you're saying, Bob. It's the, there's only one. That's what all spiritual teachers tell us. So when you come, when you do a group, and again, doesn't mean everybody's got to do a group of 50, but you may want to take your clients and put them all in a group and tap together and see what happens. Or five, start with five people, even if you want, you know, and just, and it's, I got to tell you, it's really fun. It's, it's and um, people are so grateful. Plus mine's free, like whatever, but it's just my way of serving. I, I just had to do something right. and contribute and, be, and level up, you know. I think, you know, when you talk about this whole thing, feeling called and leveling yeah. up and everything, when the pandemic first began, because on my radio show, the segments are divided into 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So I got this idea to do 11 minutes and 30 seconds of good news every day at 1130. Yeah. And it was amazing. The same thing, the gratitude, mm -hmm. people would be there waiting for me at 1130 because I was live streaming on Facebook. Uh -huh. And it, and same thing. It was so gratifying. It was so much fun. It was a ton of work. And it did cross my mind more than once that while my friends were all hanging out in their sweats and hadn't taken a shower in two days, I was having to do the hair and the makeup every day. <laughs> but the people's gratitude mm -hmm me away and the interaction the commenting and because i did the work of scouring around on the internet looking for good news every day mm -hmm. normally in our life we're not doing that so if somebody just hands that to you on a platter mm -hmm. it's great and what i see and what you're doing mary is mm -hmm. we all have fears we all have concerns we all have anxieties but nobody's handing us healing on a platter usually <laughs> But you are with what you're doing. And people who don't know about energy psychology, they don't know it can happen this fast. It's happening yeah. in a quantum level. Yes. You know, it's like the difference between, you know, uh, uh, an e a text or an email or a letter. Like, I mean, it's just like how fast you want to heal. You know? <laughs> Come like, on. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, you know, before penicillin, <laughs> then there was penicillin. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Good analogy. The whole new ball game. And, and to me, it's just a crime that the whole planet doesn't know about this. But how yeah. are we going to reach them? Like, what? A, that to me is where we have to level up. Mm -hmm. We have to reach more and more and more, or at least I do. That's what I'm being called right. to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. You know, and, I was and, talking to a friend yesterday who is teaching a college level course online. And she was saying, and I guess normally a lot of it is just the assignments. You know, they get the assignments, the teacher communicates through with you through writing. Mm -hmm. And she felt like something was missing. So she decided to do a video to introduce herself. And she was saying, you know, I remember when you couldn't teach people unless they were right in front of you. Right. Same thing with therapy, right? We all used to have everybody sitting in our office right in front of us. So you couldn't really do this 50 people thing on a regular basis. But that's one of the gifts of the pandemic. Like oh, yeah. Zoom is in everybody's life now. Mm -hmm. We all know how to use it. And we're pretty comfortable just interacting with each other on screen. Right. right. It's a gift. It's, it's a, a new time. It's a new era. Mm -hmm. The energy so is different now. Yeah, I wonder if you might, maybe mm -hmm. you want to talk a little bit, because that's what you're doing, and that's, you know, it's cool. I wonder what your thoughts on how other people can do whatever they're called to. I mean, because maybe somebody's not called for energies. They're called to something else, mm -hmm. something else that, that, that helps heal. Do you have any thoughts on, what, on that? Like what people, how people can um, tune into that? Because I think, uh, you know, sometimes it's there. And you don't know, what is that, heartburn? Or what is that? Yeah. Or, is it, or is it, oh, wait, no, I'm being called to do something. Because it might be uncomfortable at first. Or It's always uncomfortable at first. Mm -hmm. Let's just start with that. Because the brain likes what it knows. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The minute you, you go to step up, right away it comes in. Because you're a human. Unless you're an alien. If we have any aliens listening to the show right now, we can put you aside. But in the human form your brain responds to anything new and codes it as wrong. Mm -hmm. 
dangerous, okay? That's just a human brain. So you have to move yourself beyond that, okay? And what's right for me, like this would be my next step. This is what I'm being called to, is not maybe not right for many, many, many people. But many people are saying to me, and I'm hearing this, I'm being called, what I'm doing right now is just not it anymore. It's boring. You might find yourself bored. You're sitting there one-on-one -on -one talking to somebody like, I mean, I hate to admit this, but like, of course I don't have this, but you might like, just be like, really, come on, get, you know, like you're, you're just being called somewhere else. And, and for me, intuition, when you have intuition or, or your soul calling you, whatever phrase works for you, it's saying, come here. It never says, don't go there. It always says, come to, come to the right. It's a, it calls you. So not like, oh my God, I can't do that. That's how I know the difference. Yeah, yeah no, that's a good point. So like maybe if somebody has a, I don't know, they get some strange idea about, I don't know, like, you know, like uh, I always think of, uh, I forget the guy's name that does the, he's the chef that does the cooking for everybody. I forget, you, you know, it's like he's feeding like, I don't know how many millions of people. Oh, and, oh yeah, yeah. I think you know, it's I like, agree. he must have, uh, you know, like, Something well, called. The idea was that, well, you know, I, I know how to, I could feed millions, thousands of people. And right. maybe he went like, nah. Right. But some part of him went like, mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So it, and you never get the how. That's the other thing people need yeah. to know. You don't get the how it's going to happen. You just get, I'm being called somewhere. Mm. And then next thing you know, you're talking to somebody and then they have a piece and then somebody else has a piece. You, nobody gets, ever gets the blueprints of how it's going to happen. So don't wait for that to happen. Unless you're Moses maybe and he got these commandments, but the rest of us aren't getting a burning bush or anything like that. You will get an, in, uh, the next step, the next step, the next step. But it's your job and your choice because you have free will, whether you're going to take it and you will have some trepidation at first. My recommendation, tab that down, who cares? You know, like quiet your brain down. I, of course I do, I'm a human, you know? <laughs> Don't expect not to have anxiety, absolutely not. That is so huge. Yes, it's really true. I think sometimes people are like, well, wait, I got to figure out how I'm going to make it happen. And where will I get the money to do that? And yeah. I don't know anybody that knows that piece. And, yeah. and yet they appear. And they like, appear. Exactly. A huge yeah. trust lesson yeah, to take is. that next step and yeah. wait for the next step and all mm -hmm. that. It's hard for people. Yeah. So, you know, what, what Mary did was it didn't, it, money wasn't involved. It was just an act of no. giving. Exactly. I mean, yeah, if somebody has service. Has ideas, to serve. take ten thousand dollars and do something. Maybe you should. I don't. Maybe you should hold up. I don't know. <laughs> but if it's like do something for free and start down a path. Exactly. That, exactly. That feels like a little exciting and a little scary. Right. Right. Because there's a there's a small mm -hmm. uh, line between physiologically. There, exactly. There's, yeah. There's, yeah. Somebody said fear is just excitement without a breath. <laughs> Take a breath, okay? <laughs> Tap. Do what you need to do to quiet your nervous system down. Mm. Right. Because you will be anxious. And then keep doing it as long as you're having fun. If you're not having fun, then something else is calling you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I never thought I'd be doing it this long. but I, And it doesn't make any sense yeah. financially. Okay? It's, like, really dumb. Okay? Probably. But I'm just having so much fun doing it. And I, I, love, the, I love it. I love the fun of it. Well, so I'll keep doing it until it stops being fun and something else calls me and then I'll go there. Right. You know? With altruism and doing good feels good. I mean, there is, there is it's, um, its own reward. It's its own reward. It's, and, um, you know, we are actually, you know, we actually are wired for that too. Absolutely. Um, so it's yeah. not totally true that we're only. Uh, no, no. Uh, In I, fact, I'm reading this amazing kind of book. It's called Transcend. And it's uh, the guy, he, he looks at Maslow's hierarchy and things like that. And I heard about this book, but he studied these, um, uh, these Native Americans and he realized, wait a minute, we're not wired fury and this and that. Like, and, and it was really, these are the things that happened because of our childhood, because of, you know, our parents didn't know. And so that's how we got like we got programmed and if you take care of your children and they have secure attachments he looks at bulby stuff and things like that it's just it's fascinating but he's got some research in there that points to exactly what you're saying you know it's sort of the point 
really of this pod, part of the point of this podcast was, is, was to kind of privilege and make things that elevated people and made them and, and you know, said, hey, there is positivity, there is higher energy. Because the more you, whatever you focus your attention on, that's what you expand. Right. If you think, oh, the world's a terrible place and people are no good and whatever. You'll find examples, of course, but that'll show totally. you. But if you look for other examples, um, it turns out that, in fact, there are plenty of them and you can make you be some of them yourself. Right. You know, it's right. Like, yeah. Right. But to yeah. me, you've got to quiet your nervous system down, your brain, whatever. I don't care how we do it with our methods because you can talk yourself to your blue in the face. If somebody was angry as a child and you're in a room with an angry person, you're going to be anxious. It just is what it is. You're wired. So but that can be fixed now. That's what people don't know. And that's what we know. And we've seen it. And we've done it with ourselves. So come on. You know, that's what we have that the world doesn't know about. And I don't think we can hide anymore or go slow anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you it's know, really time. One of the things that you said, Mary, that I think is so important is that um, you just got to step in. Like, I, I have a feeling there are some people listening who are thinking, yeah, but my method or the way I work, it wouldn't be conducive to a group. But it's interesting, you know, like when I do sessions one on one, uh, at the end, if people are open to it, I do this work that I call balancing their energy. It's in their, in their field, but working mm -hmm. primarily with their chakras. And I thought I couldn't do that mm -hmm. in tele, telemedicine. But the truth is, by just visualizing them there, you know, it's like in Reiki, they teach you to do that work with mm -hmm. kind of a miniature of the person. Mm -hmm. they, they can be sitting there feeling what I am doing. Exactly. So whatever your Quantum. modality is, mm -hmm. whatever you do, give it a shot in maybe doing a group or doing online because you don't necessarily like, I know a lot of people when the pandemic began, their business went plummeting because they couldn't do the office thing anymore. Right. Right. And they thought they couldn't do acupuncture or couldn't mm -hmm. do other things. Yep. But it's, we're talking energy and energy is everywhere. And I think that's one of the things we've all learned over the years so I love your idea. Give it a shot. What Give do you have shot. to lose if you because don't? Because as, as Bob is saying, if you think you can't, you can't. That's right. You, you, you command the energy. So mm -hmm. if, if you're constricting it with your doubt, mm -hmm. versus tap on your doubt, okay? You, you're, if you constrict energy, it, then it, it doesn't, it will do what you tell it to do. Mm -hmm. You're it's the right. commander of energy. People don't realize that. That's why what you focus on expands what you keep, what you, oh, I'm not letting all my anger out. Okay, then it'll stay. It does what you tell it to do. <laughs> so I wonder, Mayor, we're, 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 we're at living it. And maybe this, I wonder if there's something you could lead us through. Yeah. Um, about mm -hmm. overcoming the doubt of, mm -hmm. you know, I can't do this, mm -hmm. whatever yeah. it is. What yeah, do you so think? Basically, what you want to do is think of what's the next thing you want to do. And I try to picture it, right? You know, zero to ten. Ten means I really got it. Zero means I don't got it at all. I can't. I can't get it. Okay. Can't Just, get it. In what way do you mean? It's I can't not even picture I, it. I can't even see oh, myself. Oh, doing okay. The next it's thing. Too big for what like I think. Too I big, can. or and and notice. This is to me the one of the key things in energy psychology. Notice what your body's doing as you think of this new thing. You're mm -hmm. being. You're kind of being called to. Just notice, like. Uh, you're not smart enough. They're going to laugh at you. You'll lose your license, whatever you think, you know, <laughs> don't do anything illegal, but short of that. Okay. So picture that zero to 10, it. 10 means I can see it. Okay. So then what you would do is tap the side of your hand, the, the karate chop spot. And you would just say, even though I can't see this yet, I accept myself three times. That's to standard tapping. So even though I can't see myself doing this, even though part of me has got the brakes on, I accept myself, even though I'm scared. Just own part of you was scared about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Then you do your tapping. Tap your eyebrows. And what I are we thinking? sides of the body. What? What are we thinking about now? While just we're... picture what you want to do. Ah, okay, got it. Side of your eyes. And mm -hmm. Under your eyes. Tap under your nose. And tap under your lips. 
under your, uh, your collarbone here. Now this one to me, anytime you think you have anxiety, there's one under your arms, about four inches down. I usually use my fist and I tap on both sides. Okay. And you should find the spot that's tender. Like when you tap there, it should be like, Ooh, that hurts a little bit. Poke around till you get that. Cause that's spleen, spleen meridian. And that's usually the one that's, that's got, is where the anxiety is or the terror. Hands together like a laser and tap on the top of your head. Now take a breath, look at the behavior you want to be able to do and notice your body. Bob's yawning, that's usually a good sign. Paul is smiling, but she always does that so we can't count on that. Can you see yourself stepping into it yet? Does it feel closer? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you just keep doing more, rounds of that. More drawn into it, right? Like, like yeah, it's like it, you step energetically. Why? Because energetically now you resonate with that. And the minute you resonate with something, you can do it. Mm, so you, you just keep doing the tapping until you're into your next thing. Mm, but always stay with the body because the body will give you the clue. And if you're out of your body, it, it, energy work doesn't work very well. So mm -hmm. consciousness should be in the body. But oh butt and, and brain in the same place is what I always tell people. Butt and brain in the same place. Oh, I never heard that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> really? Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but she's right. Unless you're in the body and you're not mental. If you go mental, you, it, it, you, it takes so much longer. Stay with your body, feel how uncomfortable it is because you're feeling where the energy is contracting within you. It actually gives you clues to what your emotion is. If you look so at Chinese great. medicine. So yeah. Mary, for anybody who's listening who may be a professional and wants to see you in action and for people who want to jump in and be part of Tapping yeah. Tuesdays, tell them again how they can do that. Just go to MarySice.com. And just sign up. And there's plenty of downloadable things. There's ch charts, there's videos, there's all sorts of things there for free. Just download it, share it with your people, get tapping around the globe to give people relief. Mm -hmm. And then if you want tapping the panic, just go on Amazon. You can put my name in, it'll come up. And all that will go to ASAP. So you're serving ASAP. They can get the word out more. We can get the word out more. And you'll really serve your friends. And it's that book is written very user-friendly, like no blah, blah jargon in it. It's just down to earth. Okay, here's the problem. Go for it. Here's some ideas. It walks them through it. Yep, walks them through it. Mm -hmm. There's a video on the website. There's all sorts of stuff for you. Good. So cool. Spread that. And let's, get, let's quiet down the, the limbic nervous system so this whole planet <laughs> so that people can return to who they really are, which is what Bob was talking about earlier. This light, this love, this is everyone's original blueprint. This is who you are. It's just stuff that happened to you that got you all wired wrong. <laughs> Make sense? I love that. I love that. Mary, thank you so much for all oh, that welcome. you with us today. And Bob, I think before we end this show, we should let people know that ASAP has an online conference coming up. Yeah. Um, we do, yes. If you go to our conference is online, it's going to be May uh, 12th to the 17th. If you go to EP, energypsychologyconference.com, you'll learn all about it, energypsychologyconference.com. We have just uh, Deepak Chopra is going to be there, Bessel van der Kolk is going to be there, Rupert Sheldrake, uh, uh, Roland McCready, Sue Mortar. It goes on, on Gail, uh, Andrew Harvey, Gail Parker, it just goes on. We have stuff for beginners, we have stuff for advanced and intermediate, tons of great stuff. So energypsychology.psychologyconference.com. So if you enjoyed learning from Mary today and even getting to walk through the experience, imagine that on steroids for three days mm -hmm. and that's the Energy Psychology Conference. So mm -hmm. yep. be sure you join us. Absolutely. All right. So All thanks, right. guys. This was Thank so you. fun. Was Mary. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And we'll see you all for higher and tap the panic out of pandemic. <laughs> Bye.